Hey everyone, this is Royal with Paternity University. Uh, I wanted to do a really quick video on the DNA agency startup cost uh, in 2024, because that's a, a common question that I get on my consults. And so I just wanted to give you guys what the common startup cost is and you know what you don't need to pay for as well, and then what you should probably invest in later. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So what are the startup costs? Uh, so as of 2024, it, it still generally costs less than a thousand dollars to just get your DNA agency off the ground. All right. So what I'm going to go into is just getting it off the ground. All right. So you're, you know, any additional cost or actual cost may vary uh, based on if you decide to, like I have listed here, lease an office you know, pay more for ads, any any additional stuff that you want to do, you know, it's going to raise the cost, but generally it costs less than a thousand bucks to get started. So what do you need to pay for to get started? Uh, as you can see, you know, uh, and your answer, you're, you're, you're all in around 700 to 950 bucks, not including, you know, if you decide to buy the course, right? Um, so, you know, as you can see here, domain, uh, web hosting, you need to incorporate your business. You need to set up with the lab, one of the laboratories that I kind of recommend to, to start, um, and set up as of now, that's how much they charge a hundred bucks. There's a phone service app within the course that I recommend and have a link to, and that's 25 bucks per month. Um, you know, as you can see your initial Google ads marketing budget, you know, it can vary three to 500 bucks is fine. Um, and then really the good thing about Google is that you, you're not paying for that up front. It, it, it runs the ads and then, uh, will charge the, the card on file or the bank account on file when it reaches a $500 threshold. Now that $500 can come pretty fast. It can, it could be within like two weeks or so. So, so be ready, but, um, you can have that money set aside or have access to it on, a, um, you know, credit card, line of credit, you know, savings, whatever. Right. Um, QuickBooks, you know, you're, 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 it doesn't have to be QuickBooks, but you know, uh, any type of accounting software, um, you want to do some of your self accounting, you know, it, it's very easy to do your own accounting, um, initially if you want to, right. Um, but you can also hire a bookkeeper. I can get into that, but that'd be 30 bucks a month, generally on around, right. And then your Google business profile is free. Right? You don't have to pay for that. So, you know, around 700, 950 bucks, you know, um, compared to other industries, uh, where it costs a lot more, you know, to get started, it costs tens of thousands. If that's not so shabby. All right. Stuff you don't need. All right. So super fancy logo or like a super web design website. You don't have to have it. Um, it's a nice to have, but it's not something you need. Physical marketing materials. I would say that uh, instead of spending, you know, I mean, you could if you want to get, you know, some initial business cards, but you don't have to have it. I would say wait. Uh, until, you know, you get everything else established, like the things that you need to and start getting calls and like really think of your developing your physical marketing strategy. Like who are the attorneys you're going to talk to? What are their names? Where are they located? Like, and so you can kind of wait to get that kind of stuff until you're at that point where you're ready to do some physical marketing, some door to door stuff. Um, You, you don't have to get a new iPhone <laughs> or a computer. You don't, you don't have to do that. Um, polo shirts. I mean, this is cool. Like I got mine a couple of months after starting and it felt great to wear my own like company swag and I still have it and it's awesome, but you don't have to have it to get started. Photo shoots don't eat like, you know, people <laughs> like, no, you know, some, some, of, some of us, we start businesses and want to do all the cute stuff and, and be out there on, you know, um, you know, having your photo shoots and, and, and all as your profile picture. It's just like, look, like you're here to make, you're here to make money and provide a service. So all that other cute stuff is, there's no need for it. Uh, and then like car magnets, you don't have to like, you know, plus like nobody wants, you know, their neighbors to know they're getting a paternity test. So like no need to get a car magnet. And then I, me personally, me personally, um, car magnets are kind of tacky. Um, if you're going to do it, you know, you would get a wrap van or something like, like a wrap around your car or a wrap around your truck or something like that. But for DNA testing, that's not really necessary because it's a discrete thing, you know, so you don't have to do that to start. 
um, just get started, get started with the, the things that I stated, you know, and then start getting calls and sales first before you get into this other stuff, because uh, you want to get profitable as soon as you can. You want to get in the black as soon as you can. All right. What's a nice to have a nice to have having an office is a, is a having initially having an office is a nice to have, um, you know, clients like to see that you're in an office. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure there's some places that you wouldn't go if, um, they were only maybe mobile all the time, or, you know, they just didn't have a space. So they said they meet you somewhere. I mean, over time, you know, um, starting off to do that, that's fine. But over time, you know, it, it may not be a good look for, for clients. Um, so, you know, get proof of concept first, like at least start getting your calls. But I have an answer on how you could essentially do a, a flex option of a, of an office and not having one, but you got to book a consort or get the course. I'm not going to give out all the, all the game here. <laughs> okay. Some stuff you should invest in later. Okay. Now, this is important stuff. But, you know, you can wait until you get your business kind of up and running, you know, consistently for a few months first um, before you do this. So a bookkeeper, you know, a bookkeeper is going to help you uh, understand your your profit and loss statements. It's going to make sure that everything is squared away. And depending on how you structure your business, a bookkeeper is very helpful or at least like learning, you know, on your own, investing in um, a class, I have it further down there, but learning accounting software, you know, going YouTube university and invest that stuff, you know, that time and that effort, um, a virtual assistant could be helpful later. Um, you know, start, you know, I would suggest starting off answering your own calls. So you know, exactly like how to sell it and the different aspects of, your market in your area, you're, you're going to get to know that. But the only way to know it is to answer your calls first, and then you can train a virtual assistant. That virtual assistant may be anywhere from, I don't know, 300, depending where, depend to a thousand bucks a month, maybe. So you want to make sure that you're getting the sales to justify that first. Um, you don't have to get one. I would say the only reason that you need, you'd have to get one is if like you work a job and you absolutely cannot answer the phone whatsoever or can't even text back or anything at all during like the day, then maybe hire to, you know, look into that. Uh, SEO services. So search engine optimization, it helps push your website up further on Google. Very helpful stuff. It, it takes a while for it to actually activate and it takes, it takes a lot of money, you know, and, and time. Well, you know, if you're hiring somebody else to do it, right. And then a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, you, uh, SEO services are a dime a dozen. So, uh, quality, you know, sometimes has yet, you know, more to be desired for a good chunk of them. So you'd have to really search and, and make sure, you know, really vet them first, um, make sure they're, they're legitimate. Um, and then there's, there's certain SEO things, at least with your Google business profile that you can just YouTube is actually really not that difficult to do. Like, um, you can just YouTube, like Google you know, business profile, SEO stuff. And it is some stuff that actually helps you know, like raise your profile up. Uh, but for the website, maybe hire an actual um, service to do it like a professional. Um, AABB collector certificate. All right. So I get a lot of questions. Do you have to have a certificate to do DNA testing? You don't have to have a certificate to do DNA testing. Um, but there, the uh, Association of Blood Banks does have a certificate uh, uh training program on their website it's like a hundred something dollars it lasts for a couple of years and it just it, it 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 goes more in depth about how to properly collect dna samples that's a good investment you know what i mean you know even if you want to do that you know it, if you want to get my course and get that that's perfectly fine but it you know it's it's not it's a it's a it's a very helpful thing but you don't have to do it it's not mandatory but it's helpful um, additional sales training. I mean, you can continue to book consoles with me, um, where I can help you, uh, figure out what may be the issue when it comes to, con um, a conversion rates, you know, making sales, you know, stuff like that, helping you with your script, helping you with your sales tonality. I can do that. You can book calls with me. That's, that's a way to invest in, but, you know, start getting your calls first and then, and then get some, you know, and we'll, we'll go from there. And then uh, this, this helps too. Um, classes on business management. Um, this, this, this is just helpful stuff. You know, you, you know, 
we want to be business owners, right? Um, we we want to be business owners, so we need to have a holistic understanding of what it needs, what it what it means to run a business. So the the stuff that's not sexy, right? Taxes, all right. That's not that's not cool. Taxes, right? Nobody likes that, <laughs> but it's important stuff to know if if you don't know it already, or if you want to touch up on it. I mean, the the U.S. tax code is tens of thousands of pages. I mean, you know. We're the the normal person, the lay person is not going to understand it, but um, you could at least understand the basics of it to make sure that you understand uh, kind of what you're getting yourself into. It's important stuff. Sales, obviously, sales drives business. Sales is the lifeblood. You get no sales, you don't own a business anymore. So taking classes, uh, even I mean, yes, you can book a consult with me, but also take a class at your local community college if you can or online um, that talk about stuff like this, sales and cash flow, marketing, networking. This is all important stuff to make you a holistic uh, business owner. Um, so I, I say all that, you know, look, book a consult with me. Um, there's there's uh, three things that you'll get out of it. All right. You'll find out if this is the right business for you um, because it is not for everybody. Um, and I want to, you know, be able to give you uh, the ability to to ask me the questions and and for you to say um, this this is good for me or no you know what this is not really what I thought it was and I'm, I'm but at least I know now okay cool great I get to answer your questions um, and then I help you determine the best I call it service fulfillment structure for your business so there is like four ways that you can actually operate your DNA testing business and. Um, I can help you determine the best way that you can initially operate it to get started and get off the ground. So um, with that being said, hey, that's all that I got uh, for now. Thank you all so, so much. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, until next time, thanks. Uh, go to paternityuniversity.com.